this is Leslie from PlaydatesParties.com and I want to go through with you today how to take this fun download, this fun Valentine's Day download, and convert it to a PNG file, load it up into Cricut Design Space, add a score line, and then have your Cricut send it to your printer and then cut it for you, making your life so much easier. Okay, let's get started. So you see right here that I've got the file already open. It is a PDF file, and um, which all my files are PDF files. But I will show you how easy it is to convert this over to a PNG. Before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the file just to make sure there are no issues. You see here I've got it in my downloads folder because I downloaded it and um, it's right there. You see the name. When you download it from my shop, it should be in whatever folder your computer downloads to. So since I'm on a Mac, it's in the downloads folder. But next we're going to go to pdf2png.com. Do not use the, the letters T0 or TO. Do not write TO, use the number two, PDF number two, png.com. The other one, the other website is not a functioning website. Um, this one is what you want. So now that we're here, we're gonna go ahead, we're going to upload the files and you see, you're gonna navigate however you navigate it to your folder that you've got it in. So mine's already there because I was just there. So Rolo's Valentine's Day, bag topper, choose, converting, and then download. I'm going to allow, I've used them before without any issues. Okay, now we saw it downloaded. It downloads as a zip file. Well, let's go take a look at what that looks like, right? So here it is, that zip. And since I'm on a Mac, all I have to do is double click. I will include a link to a page that shows how to unzip files for most platforms. But now it opens up as a new folder. We're gonna open this up and you see all the different pages are separate PNG files. And what you're going to want to do, the first couple pages are instructions. So pages four and five are really what we want. You're gonna choose whichever bag topper size you're using. Uh, so for example, page four, we can open this up. Page four has the five inch wide treat bags. Page five has the ones that fit most zip top snack bags that you can buy at the grocery store. They're all a little different, so I can't guarantee they'll fit all of them perfectly. I'm gonna open up Cricut Design Space. We're gonna start a new project. Then we're going to upload. Upload image, browse. And I can go to the folder wherever it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose this one this time. Open that. Now we're gonna go with complex. Let me make this full screen. That's a little bit easier to see. There we go. Make that complex. Continue. And all we need to do now is click right there. That erases the background. But then you want to click this erase, this eraser up here. And I'm going to want it to be bigger. And you're going to go ahead and click the title and the copy, or erase the title and the copyright. Make sure you get it all. And then if you look closely, it's hard to see there are these little itty bitty corner marks and they're on all four corners and that is to help make sure that the file is 
able to be resized in a very easy way for you. But you need to keep at least two. I'm going to keep all four in this case, but you need to keep at least two catty corners. So one uh, in the maybe upper left and one in the bottom right, uh, but not, you don't want to keep them on the same side. You need to make sure that they are opposite each other on the diagonal. And that's all you need to do to get this ready. I do want to make one quick note and let you know that the file, when you convert it, it's no longer editable from that perspective. So you may want to go ahead and add whatever names. If you're going to choose to do that, um, use the editable fields, add that before you convert it to a PNG because once it's a PNG, it's basically an image and we don't want that. We don't, you know, you're not going to be able to edit that. Or you can use your Cricut to draw the name for you if you, if you choose. It's up to you. So then we're going to click continue. And there you see, you see all the corner marks. This makes sure that they are sized properly. And then you see it's got two rectangles. All right. And add whatever naming and tags you want. And I'm going to save as a print then cut image, not as a cut image. I'm going to save it as a print then cut image. Save. Okay. Now, once you have this uploaded, click on it, insert images, and you see it is way too big. Cricut print and cut sizing is 6.75 inches wide by 9.25 inches tall. And you see also here, there's this error message. It's if you tried to go print it now, it would tell you it can't. Um, so what you need to do is you can go, I usually go by the height. So I go 9.25, enter and make sure you need to make sure this little lock up here is, is locked. And there you go. And if we go and look at it, it won't stay there, but if we look at this, we can see it's five inches wide. Perfect. Now. You may want to, at this point, add, you may want to add a score line. So we're going to go to shapes, score line. I just kind of click it anywhere. And the nice thing about the back being all white is that it's really easy to see where the score line should go aside from the fact that it saves you some printer ink. I'm just going to drag this over here so that it scores the entire length. I like to make it really close in. I'm going to duplicate that. Add it to this bag topper. Then you're going to select all of these and click attach. So then at this point you can click make it. Everything looks good. It's one. It's one mat. We're good. Click continue and then you're going to send it to printer. And then once you've printed, you're going to follow the regular Cricut cutting process. So you see how easy that is. Um, this really, when you're making 20 or more, this makes it so much faster because you can just load everything up, load up a few different mats, like two or three mats at once, score it, cut it, and maybe do a couple other little things while this is cutting. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you see how this all worked. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, leave a message in the comments section. I hope you really enjoy this printable. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.